الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said طلب العلم فريدة على كل مسلم ومسلمة That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every male believer and female believer and the prophet alayhi salatu was salam said man yurid allahu bihi khayran yufaqahu fid deen whenever allah wants good from a person that he gives him understanding of the religion this farida this obligatory uh, knowledge that is required of the muslim does not mean every muslim needs to be a scholar nor does it mean that every Muslim needs to be talib al-ilm. But every Muslim must know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly. And know how to come closer to Allah azza wa jal. Every Muslim is required to know tahara, the fiqh tahara, the fiqh salat. And before that, and most importantly, is aqidah or creed. Is tawheed. The oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Islamic monotheism. Every Muslim is required to know about Islamic monotheism. They have to know who Allah is, what their relationship is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what their purpose in life is, <clears throat> so that they can pro properly actualize this relationship and fulfill their duties. What is the haq upon the Muslim over, uh, over the Muslim? And the Prophet والسلام, said in the hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala an, and he was riding on a donkey with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala an, and he said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqallah al ibadi, wa ma haqal ibadi al Allah. O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon over his slaves? That means you and I. And the right of the slave over Allah? And Mu'adh answered by saying, Allah wa Rasulu wa'alam. He said, Haq Allah al-ibadi an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayin. He said, the right of Allah over his servants, or over his servant, is that he worships him and him alone, and he associates no partners with him. And this is why Shaykh Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned, in his book, his famous book, Al-Asul Thalatha, he mentioned, he mentioned, he said, A'adham ma amar Allahu bihi a tawheed, wa a'adham ma naha anhu a shirk, or kama qal. He said that the most important thing that Allah has commanded his servants with is Tawheed, is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, is Tawheed al-Ibadah, Tawheed al-Rubuliyah, Tawheed al And the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned against and prohibited is shirk, is polytheism. And for this reason, I've decided that it is important that we have a Dora, which is a series of Durus or lectures to study a book and finish the book bi idnillah ta'ala. And the title of the book is Nawaqid al Islam, is the nullifiers of Islam. And the way in which we will study it, bi idnillah, for those who participate, is that the series of durus will take place over approximately perhaps a month's time perhaps shorter than that and we will complete the book bi'idnillah and the book will be comprised of a series of shuruhat or uh, I will be taking from uh, many explanations of the book from many of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah and at the end of completing the program, at the end of completing this series of lectures, I will give a certificate of participation 
for all of those who listen to all the lectures. And the honesty, the trust is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's between you and Allah. And so the way in which we will do this is I will give you my email. My email is Green Khalid, G R E E N K H A L I D, at gmail.com. And what I ask for those people who want to gain this certificate is that they give me the proper spelling names of their, uh, of the person participating. Okay, they give me their proper way they want to spell their name so that way when we put it on the certificate it will be uh, spelled properly so I will give uh, certificates of participation for those who participate the way in which the certificates will be delivered the certificates will be scanned and then they will be issued uh, by email to the participant approximately within three weeks of completing the end of the course <coughs> and this will be at no cost to the participant and by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala someone from Ahl al-Khair has donated some money to be to purchase the and provide these free certificates by scan this is only by scanning so I will not be mailing certificates uh, as the, the cost will be outside of the budget that was allotted to us. Uh, the last point I want to make, uh, the reason for issuing a certificate, it is to encourage the people involved to seek knowledge and to show appreciation to the participants for those who complete the series of Durus. And it makes it can be rewarding for the individual so it encourages you as I have had this experience of course in sitting in uh, in the classroom settings but also even some scholars and I've had this situation our Sheikh Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili Allah Ta'ala he gave us certificates for completing his PhD thesis with him completing the book Mokif Ahla Sunnah uh, Mokif Ahla Sunnah uh, this was a two volume over 56 lectures it took us uh, I can't remember how long it took us probably two years to finish it and he gave us at the end of the lecture a certificate and I will always cherish that certificate so I know what it means and it encourages you and it can be something beneficial the last point I want to mention is the uh, registration deadlines. I'm going to give the deadline for registration from the time that this video goes up to the people are able to register in order to get a certificate uh, to July, uh, preferably by July 20th. By July 20th, I want to have all the names of the participants. So if it's just some, okay, and if it's many, then we can uh, provide, we can uh, accommodate that. So the uh, registration deadline is July 20th. The last thing I want to mention, because I will be traveling soon, is the first lecture will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, in, towards the end of July it will be the, so the programs you have a couple of weeks to get prepared uh, it will be probably the first uh, video will be July uh, around July 26th the 26th of July and possibly before that but if I do one very uh, before that then there will be a gap until and the Durus will continue after about the July about July 26 and I figure that approximately depending on how I can manage my schedule uh, we will take three weeks to a month to finish the dars and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and may Allah bless us all with ilm and nafia and I encourage the brothers and sisters who listen to spread this to those who are interested 
لَعَلَّهُمْ يَسْتَفِيدُونَ in hopes that they will benefit because we're going to do our best to give you a quality dars and give you what we have learned within the extent of our time frame of being able to prepare and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam